Hi everybody, Dacov here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm dressed darker and toned down and sobered down today for a particular reason because today I'm going to do a review on this little baby here. Come in this big, big white dust bag. So finally the time has come to review. This is not a Moschino t-shirt. Where do I put this? Um, bag. It's pretty big as you can see. It's made in leather, um, it smells very, very good, and uh, this particular one is um, made in calfskin leather, and let's get right to the, to the story behind it. So, uh, as we all know, there is this famous artist called Magritte, who uh, made, uh, you know, paintings, uh, well, I don't know, a pipe, saying this is not a pipe, or art piece, that's not an art piece, so kind of, it's referential in a way, or referential in a way, very pop in a way to just assimilate certain things from pop culture, art culture, and then make them into design. That's what Jeremy does. That's what I respect very much about him. We have seen the teddy bear perfume that looks like a teddy toy, but uh, the teddy is wearing a t-shirt that states, uh, this is not uh, a toy, but in fact, it is a mos it's, this is not a Moschino toy, but it's a Moschino perfume. And this is not a Moschino t-shirt, when indeed it is a Moschino t-shirt, but it's not a wearable Moschino t-shirt. Instead, it's a Moschino bag. So that's the little story behind it. This little bag is part of the uh, pre-collection, uh, Spring Summer 15. So I guess maybe it could be also considered cruise in a way. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's definitely Spring Summer 2015 pre so it has two handles. There are no straps coming out of this bag in any way. So you cannot wear it, you know, cross shoulder uh, or just on your shoulder. Um, but what you can do is wear it like this or like this, but I'll get to the wearability in a second. So we have white leather, which is kind of, you know, dangerous as far as color transfer is concerned, because if you're wearing black stuff like I am today, I mean, this is linen cloth and it's been washed a lot and probably there's not a lot of, you know, danger that I might, you know, transfer some color onto this bag. But nevertheless, I would tend not to wear black colors when I'm wearing, a, when I'm, you know, using an accessory like this one. However, I am wearing it today for the purpose of showcasing the bag so that, you know, there's more contrast between the white and the black so you could see more of the bag. Anyway, gold hardware, as we can see here, this is a bit reminiscent of the type of zip here, and I've been told in the past, you know, by some people that the zip is kind of unpractical because it's very short. So it's a bit reminiscent of the Miss Dior bag in a way because it's kind of small. So when you open it up, you know, you have like the tight uh, quantity of space here to kind of like go in with your hand. But um, to me, it's kind of still better than the Miss Dior bag would be. So. It's still an improvement to the Dior bag. Let me just get all of these Moschino papers out. I don't know if you could see, but they're all branded. So the stuffing paper used for these bags, or the tissue paper used for these bags, has Moschino logo all over it. There you have it. So let's, and that's also a good sign. I mean, this bag was bought in the Moschino boutique, but of course, if you're gonna buy online, it's always a good sign of authenticity to have original Moschino tissue paper inside of the bag, obviously. Now this bag has five billion papers inside. It's gonna take me forever to take it all out, but we'll get there. It's the last thing I do. I'm gonna empty this bag of all its papers. Ah, finally. Okay. So inside, as you can see, I can't really open it very much because it's a pretty tight slit here with the zip. But similar to other Moschino bags, what we have inside, once the bag is empty, of course it becomes much softer and kind of more difficult to manage, uh, especially if you're, ha if you're kind of keeping it sideways like I am now trying to open it. Uh, we have a zipper, internal zipper, or is it right here? And it's open right now, also gold hardware. And then we have a little Moschino Milano leather white pocket. Let me just check the bag. See there are any other pockets? Yeah, just like the biker Moschino Barbie pink biker bag, you can check the review out in the card section above. Uh, this bag also has 
extra pockets. The Barbie one had them in pink, this one has them in black, they're just like sewn in. A wider one and a tighter one. And that's it. For the rest of it, it's just a big, black, hollow, empty space. How did they solve the issue of the um, sleeves? Because obviously, if you can't enter the sleeves, you can only come up to here and then there's a blockage. Well, the bag inside is lined in cloth, like a satiny material. Let me try to extract it for you guys so you can see. Like that's the material and there is no Moschino logos on the fabric. Just wanted to show you quickly this bag was made in Italy. We have the logo there. So back to the sleeves. <clears throat> the only thing separating the outside from the inside is the cloth, is the is the satin lining basically. So uh, let me take there, that off. Everything is turning yellow. Just for a second, I'm going to up it so you guys can see better. This is too much light, obviously. But there. So I can... Oh, come on. Let me just do this quickly. Okay, so you can see now. So I could push with my fingers out there. You can see this. So it's a very, very thin barrier. Um, and now it's going to be very difficult to get back to <laughs> white balancing on me. Okay, hopefully it works. Uh, so this means that it's kind of fragile and delicate, but since you have so much space to store from here to here, by the time you fill up the bag up to here, you're probably not going to have anything pointy or dangerous kind of inside of the bag that's going to border between the stitch here that would risk to kind of penetrate the fabric and break loose through the sleeve. But it's a thing to consider for sure. This bag, personally, my opinion, should never, ever see the rain or any sort of humidity because it's so fragile and you don't want to get rain going into the sleeve or anything because it's just fabric once it's in there. I don't know. Very, very, very delicate bag. What is extremely interesting, now, as I've already shown you guys in the Barbie uh, biker pack, uh, biker pack, the biker bag, the pink Barbie biker bag from Spring Summer 15, all the secret compartments that that bag has between the zippers and the back of it, this one does too. In fact, the neck of the t-shirt or the crew neck, whatever you want to call it, those are actually pockets. And look, you can literally fit a whole arm in the front as well as in the back. Extremely, extremely functional and practical, my personal opinion, because you could fit a lot in there without having to open your bag all the time to reach your products. So we have these fully functional Moschino branded zippers. So you could also close the bag in the middle if you wanted to. And then they have a bit of leather on the top. The bottom has four little golden legs, which is a great addition because that does protect your bag quite a bit when you want to store it somewhere, when you want to put it down. However, due to the fact that this is white leather, you just don't want to put this bag down anywhere. You just want to keep it all the time with you because, I mean, this can get dirty very quickly. It's not lambskin leather, it's calfskin leather, which makes it a bit more resistant and robust, which also, I don't know if you could see, but it's kind of a porous -y type of leather, but the porous, not the type of porous that absorbs dirt, but rather something that repels it because it's pretty easy to wipe stuff off of it. It seems very, very resistant and robust. Let's see if I rub a little, yeah. It's um, definitely, sturdy leather, which is great. I always mention the fact that uh, good quality bags should have, leather bags should have the leather kind of twisted, you know, inwards on both sides. The sleeve does not have this. We have two bits of leather and they're just combined, like just stitched together, but they're open, they're loose and you have, they have the glazing going on there. Same thing happens here. This is just glazing going on over there. However, what is very good is the top of the bag. Here, the leather has been inverted, has been like bent inwards and then sewn together, which is very good. 
that is very good because this helps the bag live much, a longer and healthier life. All of these bags where you could see kind of the tagging on the outside because it's supposed to be reminiscent of the tag inside of the shirt are made in leather with gold uh, printing. I think the Barbie one had silver because she has silver hardware, the Barbie bag, the Barbie biker bag. Uh, this leather is just a cut piece of leather with also glazing on all of the sides. Let's get quickly to the size of the bag, shall we? Now, from the handle to the bottom of the bag, we get approximately, it's really big, it's 56 centimeters to the bottom of the bag. The drop, just the drop of the handle is 18 centimeters. The width of the bag, not with the sleeves, without the sleeves, let's just say from bottom to bottom here. The width of the bag is 29 and a half to 30 centimeters. Now you can already see the bag just from staying on the shelf in the boutique got a little bit of stain right over there, a little bit of dust. I'm gonna to have to try to get rid of that. The width of the bag is gonna be hard, let's do it at the bottom. The width is 13 and a half centimeters approximately. So there you have it. Now let's measure the last part, which is from sleeve to sleeve, which is the part of the bag where it's, where the bag is widest. That is 44 centimeters wide. 44, there you have it. Okay, now let's quickly get to how this little baby looks like. This is how it looks like. You could wear it like this, which is not the case for me personally. Shoulder, yeah, if you're very, very tiny and thin, you, I mean, with me it also, I, I can put it under on my shoulder, under the armpit, but then you're gonna sweat all over the back. You don't want that, now do you? So, if you press too hard. So basically, you're gonna be wearing it mostly like this. And now it's not on the camera, so you cannot even see. Maybe I should try to stand on my chair. This is going to be very risky, guys. Anyway, there you go. If I stand on the chair, uh, and I'm really surprised it's not breaking right now, you could see more kind of, ooh, I'm falling, guys, uh, how the bag would kind of look like with a black background. I mean, with, you know, black clothes. There you have it. That would be the This Is Not a Moschino t-shirt bag review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this uh, review and um, give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this baby or anything else that might concern you or me or anything you're interested to know or to, to say or ask or whatever. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.